All right, this is gonna be a quick video showing you guys how to locate AC leaks if you guys don't have uh, nitrogen tanks or anything like that. All you need is shop air from a hose, roughly running about 120, 140 PSI. And then after that, you also need the coupling that is for the vehicle. So either it's gonna be YF1234 or it's gonna be the R134A, but you are gonna need the coupling. Now, in order to do this properly, if I can find it, you're gonna to have to get a fitting for your airline. Then you're gonna to have to tap the, the coupling for your airline and for your fitting. And then you can just attach your airline and it'll give you a connection point. Then after that, you plug it onto the high side or low side, depending on what coupling that you take. And after that, you just plug your air hose onto it and it will add shop air into the system so you guys can find a leak. Now, some people might, people might say that it's not a good idea to add shop air into uh, an AC system, but honestly, after you perform a 30-minute vacuum onto it, it's going to remove any moisture or anything that your lines might actually have introduced into the system, so I would really don't worry about it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise the vehicle, I'm going to show you guys where the leak is on this vehicle. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys what vehicle it is because it's pretty generic. You guys have a leak, you guys have to find it. You know, so basically, your car comes in, you hook up your hoses uh, and your gauges and you have uh, zero PSI onto your uh, onto your gauges. What does that indicate? That the system's empty. Now either the car was into an accident and then they didn't refill it or you actually have a leak. So what we are going to do is raise it and I'm going to show you guys that this is uh, actually does work onto the vehicle. So what you're going to need after that is a spray bottle with the shop air and you're gonna take and you're gonna spray where that leak is. And we'll come a little bit closer. As you can tell, it is leaking all the way around. And that is how you locate a leak using shop air. Now, side note, part two to my O2 sensor uh, diagnosis is coming out. I'm working on it right now. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer than what I wanted. But uh, I've been pretty busy lately, so I'm trying to get that out at the same time. But I also want to give you guys a quick video on how to locate AC leaks without any really special equipment. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.